Hi guys, so today I figured you could join me and Jake as he eats, as that is the topic of our video today. Uh, this is a collaboration with Hey Heidi. Go ahead and check her channel out, the link is below. There's a few guidelines um, that you need to follow before you start giving your baby table food. So they need to be at least six months. Generally, I'm not a doctor. Another thing to look up for, or what I was told to look for, is if they can sit up, if they're holding their head up alone, and if they're watching the food and like they look like they're intrigued by your food. I personally use glass jar food, but you can use the plastics, you can use the squeeze, squeeze stuff if you want. Another reason why I choose to do the glass jars is because I find that they're more sterile than plastics. That's just a personal opinion. Our pediatrician recommended that we started mainly with um, that we started mainly with veggies because we're as humans we're naturally inclined to want to eat sweet stuff. Well, the first thing that he had were peas, and then I think we had carrots. And I think generally the rule is to wait four days before you introduce a new food. So that's what we did. We would try peas. We waited four days and we looked for allergic reactions. For Jake, his allergic reaction would be um, a kind of redness here and around his mouth and a little bit on his ear. Uh, we've only had that once and it only lasted for like five minutes. So that was good. Some tools that we used when he was eating jarred food were just these munchkin. Um, touch them off. These munchkin spoons and that's the Gerber spoon. If you put it down on the table, the spoon bottom is not supposed to touch the table. So another tool that we use is this, uh, what is this? Ingenuity? I don't know. Ingenuity? So this is the high chair we use. Um, I don't use the top straps because apparently it keeps your child from leaning in and grabbing the food that they want or looking at their food. So I just keep those there for aesthetics. <laughs> My dog wants to come out. Ah, oh, girl, you're silly. It's got this takeaway tray that you can lift and wash easily. And it's on wheels, which is amazing. Another hack that I learned that never really served me a purpose was to link the bibs to the back of the high chair. Jake doesn't use bibs, so my genius went to waste there. So as I was saying, some, some good starter foods would be like soft fruits and veggies, like avocado, which is an allergen. The AAPA recommends early exposure to possible um, allergens. So like peanut butter, we weren't supposed to start feeding that until later. Now we can start giving them a little bit. So I also think fish and milk, some other things like that. But always ask your pediatrician because I'm a mom, I'm not a doctor, so some soft fruits that you could do um, are bananas. You want to cut them up like pea size, very small. Also uh, avocado, papaya, watermelon, peaches, and pears. If you get them canned because you don't eat them, do not get them in syrup. You can get them, you can get them in water or 100% juice. Just uh, make sure they're not in syrup. You can also do some soft veggies. Some cool examples are sweet potato, green beans. Jake loves green beans. Carrots, canned tomatoes, uh, and white potatoes. You just don't want any added salt. If you're getting them canned, do not have, do not get added salt. And as as always, make sure the food is cool before you give your baby uh, something too hot. So always put it on your bottom lid. And also do some breads. <laughs> You can do lightly toasted toast and muffins. You can put a peanut butter on the toast. You can put apple butter on the toast, butter, cinnamon, anything. You can do all of that. You can make dippy toast with the, with the peanut butter. You can serve um, mashed brown or white rice. Just make sure it's cooked really soft. And noodles. I just, apparently you're supposed to give them smash, but we just gave him like thin spaghetti noodles cut up really small. You can also do baby pancakes, so recycle and reuse your um, jarred baby foods and put them into pancake mixes. Another way to recycle the jarred baby food is to put it in mashed potatoes. Some other good foods that you can do are protein foods. You can do shredded chicken, ground beef or turkey. You want to make sure they're little crumbles and um, beans, tofu, and cheese. Jake loves shredded cheese. You can also do scrambled eggs. We do um, 
we do scrambled eggs a lot and we do scrambled cheesy eggs. It's a good way to um, just change up the flavors. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you have any comments, leave them in the comments below. Thanks and have a great day.